So this week I'm going to show you how to prepare bonefish, or as we call them in Hawaii, o'io. And it's pretty funny, I've been eating these my entire life, it's one of my favorite fish to eat. And a lot of people out there think that they're inedible because there's so many tiny hair-like bones through their body. And I think it's a little bit a manufactured story because it's a, a game fish and uh, people make a good living guiding people onto these fish, which I think is awesome. But uh, I catch these here in Hawaii with a fishing pole, um, whether it's off of a surfboard or from the beach, usually during the winter months. And that kind of peaks right around December as the schools of bonefish congregate in a lot of surf areas. Um, I don't go and take bonefish from like the flats where people enjoy, enjoy fly fishing for them. But uh, I just catch them all along the North Shore here, same places that we were catching them when I was a little kid. And uh, I'll show you how to prepare them. Um, so to start, I have a whole oio here. And one of the major elements of this is you have to let the meat settle. If you try to do this the day you catch it, it's too tough and the meat does not separate from the bones. So you either have to refrigerate it for two, optimally three days, or freeze it and thaw it. So this fish I caught actually a couple of months ago and it's frozen, has been frozen, so it's nice and soft right now. You can use this exact same technique for ladyfish, which is ava ava here in Hawaii, or milkfish, which is ava here in Hawaii, because they have the same general characteristics with the meat and lots of tiny bones. So start off, all you need is a bowl, a knife, and a spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fillet each side of this and I'm then going to just scrape the meat off of the fillet. Uh, so I'm not pushing more scales into the meat. I'm going to go ahead where I'm going to make my fillet cuts and scale it. So just along the edges of where I'm going to be making these fillet cuts. This one's a little more difficult to scale because it's been frozen so its skin gets a little dried out. And you're just trying to keep these scales from going into the meat. Which we can, we will pick them out later. Inevitably some scales and some little bones, um, sorry get into that meat, but um, you just kind of feel around with your fingers and pick them out. So I'm just going to start to make a guide cut here. I guess it's Pretty straightforward fish filleting. Just cutting up here. The good thing about when you're preparing one of these fish is that it doesn't have to be by any means a perfect fillet job because you can spoon the excess meat off. So you don't have to get too OCD about this part of the process. through those rib bones. I'm just going to start cutting kind of there. the gut. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect fillet job. Just got to get it off.
We have a fillet, just get these pieces of uh, scales out. All I'm gonna do is just start spooning the meat off of here. Actually going against the grain of the meat seems to work better. So it just comes off like a paste, see? And all these tiny hair-like bones stay in here. See, there's all these bones here all over the place. But if the meat is soft enough, like I said, like you've let it rest, froze it or refrigerated it for a couple of days, then it should separate without pulling those tiny bones off with it. And the good thing about a fish like this is you get so much meat yield. You get actually more than a normal fish just because you really get into every little nook and cranny. Little bit of screw up on the flay job here. See, one little bone tried to come along. So, that's what you're left with, pretty much just skin. And then see how I was saying, you don't have to be too OCD about the flay. You can come back here for anything that's left over, even get up above those ribs there. And you just try to pick scales out as you go. Scale city here. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat on the second side. If you look at the meat here, it's this really interesting kind of paste. And we eat it raw, and that's more lomi oio style, or a cook. So I'm gonna mix it with a bunch of different ingredients and make hamburger patties out of it. And it's, it's interesting, friends that I have that say they don't like eating fish, I'll make burgers out of this and feed it to them, and they can barely guess what if it's fish or not. They always like it. And so a fish that a lot of people say, and the common thought is that it's not edible at all, is actually like, one of the more mild tasting and really good tasting fish. Let's just 
show the So I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll make sure that, that we get any scales and any of those tiny little bones that may have made it in there, which there's always a few, and just make sure we get those out before we mix it with the other ingredients. Okay, so once you get all the meat separated from the bones of the fish, you kind of go through and I, I'll take a spoon with the meat and just kind of spread it out. And as you can see, it's this really beautiful color and some paste. But that's where you pick out these little scales that made it in there and any other small bones that may have got in there. That's why I have kind of an oversized bowl so it gives you some room to work with it. And at this point I'm going to start making, oh there's another one, the patty mix. Okay. So first order of business, I'm going to put some garlic pepper in here. Some salt. for some red pepper. It's just kind of like a, a more fine cut without the seeds. This is where you start getting the hands involved. And when you're mixing the ingredients together, it gives you another opportunity with your hands to feel if there's any scales or little bones that got forgotten in here. Oh, I think I found one. Yep, scale. Okay, so we're going to use two different bonding agents here. One is going to be panko or breadcrumbs. Let me wash my, my hands. It's going to make people cringe just getting all this fish all over the thing. Oop. So. Breadcrumbs going in. Now for the egg. Some green onion. Ooh. Carrots. Ginger.
So you can tell this isn't a proper cooking show because my stuff's an absolute mess. I am not a cook. I can do a few things, <laughs> but these taste good. See, it's getting a little more congealed and sticking together better now. All right, so now I'm just gonna make the patties and get ready to cook them. We're gonna go big on patties this time. Actually. All right, now I'll go get this fire started. Okay, so this is different. Usually I use like a, a vegetable oil or avocado oil but we made bacon this morning so i'm just going to use the bacon grease so we're getting nuts going way out on a limb with this but bacon doesn't seem to ever hurt anything Well, we de definitely didn't get the sizzling shot. We failed there, or I failed there. I have a feeling this is gonna turn out amazing. I've never thought of the bacon grease thing. We'll see, like hopefully I don't t completely screw it up. So I just kinda wait till it gets white halfway up and that's when I flip it. So this one's about ready to flip here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it a little rare in the middle because this honestly tastes amazing raw too. So you don't have to worry about um, undercooking it. It's more, you just don't wanna dry it out. So I'm gonna pull this guy right now. Oh man, they got a little crispy from the bacon grease. Let's eat. Okay, here we have it. 
the rare and elusive bonefish burger or oio in hawaii i've had so many friends from like the east coast argue with me and say that you cannot eat these fish and i've been eating them my whole life so i wanted to put this out there how to prepare them it went from a really fun morning just fishing off my stand-up paddle board to the freezer where it then softened up and then i separated the meat from the frame of the fish today and cooked it up for a meal this is free range organic as good as it gets um, if you like what's going on on my youtube channel here subscribe like this video and set on notifications so you know when they come out if you forget to do that I'll be putting out new strike missions every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Thanks for showing up.